What's going on, boys and girls? What's up, world? Austin John plays here, and today I'm here to answer a question that a lot of you few people have asked. What happens when you dock a switch light? Now, it goes without saying that one of the reasons that the Nintendo Switch Lite is $100 cheaper than the Nintendo Switch is you don't have the removable Joy-Cons, and on top of that, you can't dock it. This is my Switch V2 that I'm eventually gonna start using, but for now, it stays in the box. When unboxing the Nintendo Switch Lite, I came across a very interesting discovery nevertheless, and that the power brick from the Nintendo Switch and the Nintendo Switch V2 versus the Nintendo Switch Lite is the exact same. It has the same input, the same output, same wattage, same voltage, same everything. The only difference is the country it's made in and the font that's used. Not a joke. Why does it use the same cable? Well, why wouldn't it? It plugs in and it charges. No problem. Why go ahead and make a completely different cable for it, right? We're gonna go ahead and plug in a dock with HDMI and power. Well, for starters, this is pretty much the same size. However, you're gonna notice that these things, this joystick, lands where the screen lands. And because of that, it's not gonna fit in this dock. So if I were to go ahead here and take my Nintendo Switch, my regular one, and put it in the dock, boom. It was a little discolored, but there it is. Now, the Nintendo Switch Lite cannot fit in a Nintendo Switch dock. It just can't happen. I feel like that's kind of intentional, so you can't take this and try to shove it in there. Makes a lot of sense, right? By no means should you use a third-party dock, because they're questionable on if they could explode your Nintendo Switch when it converts out the HDMI and stuff like that. Although, for just charging reasons, it's fine. Just. Not when there's power to the TV or something. I didn't know the details. Bob explained it better than I did. The weird part here is if you look at the back of the Nintendo Switch, you clearly see right where my thumb is that little, that little alcove that it's used to fit into the USB-C in the dock. And on the Switch Lite, that's also present. I thought that would have been removed. It would make sense for them to remove that because it can't dock. Many, many moons ago, I decided to take apart a Nintendo Switch dock which we're not doing in this video, and put it into this. This right here is a shell of all the original internal workings of the dock, but much, much smaller. It's like a dock light, if you will. So if we were to go ahead, plug in the power, plug in the HDMI, plug in a Nintendo Switch, and it appears on screen. And with the Switch light, we could take it, put it in the dock, and you'll see that it does not go out to HDMI, but it does charge the battery. That is what happens if you try to dock a Nintendo Switch. And you might think to yourself, they took out the video functionality. So now all this thing can do, that little USB-C port right there, all that can do is just charge the Switch. That's where you're wrong. This USB-C port still has all of the same functionality as far as data transfer, just with the video out now lacking. What I mean by that is, if you were to go ahead and get a USB-C adapter, like this one for uh, a MacBook that goes out to power, HDMI, and USB, and you were to plug it into the bottom, and you were to plug in a USB controller, or, I'm gonna take my super short USB-C cable, and plug in this Pro Controller, it immediately paired, because it's connecting through data. If you were to take this massive arcade pad, take out the USB cable, plug it into the adapter, and the adapter to the Nintendo Switch, you would be able to control your Nintendo Switch with this arcade stick. And on top of that, since it has the power in option, if we plug in the power... Oh, well that doesn't work. Because if we do that with a regular Switch, does that work? Oh, that doesn't give us power. So if you wanted to plug in a Wii U or Switch to GameCube controller adapter, you could totally do that and then play on your Switch Lite, this isn't the Switch Lite, on your Switch Lite Super Smash Brothers Ultimate using your GameCube controllers, you could totally choose to do that. There is still some functionality to this port down here other than just charging. Any USB devices plug in just fine. And there you go. That's what happens if you try to dock a Nintendo Switch Lite. Why'd I make this video? Cause someone's gonna wonder it. 
and they're gonna think that they're gonna break their switch so instead they'll google it and boom now you have your answer don't break your switch thanks so much for checking out this video leave a like subscribe to the channel until next time austin john out